It's a new year, a new season, and we are underway. Really dominating fashion here today is going to win. Two, three, four for the final time. Win number one of the season, only just barely. He is going to win here at the Nazareth Speedway. Wins the Emerson Electric 100K. Going to be Igor Moretto's going to eke it out. Cup Series champion is Shane Lake in the number 15. Welcome to the NOF SRL. Good afternoon once again ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Rockingham Speedway in beautiful Rockingham, North Carolina getting ready to kick off the 7th race of the 2021 season of the NOF Surreal Mission Barbecue Cup Series, the Hard Rock Cafe, Rockingham 400. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trey Wright and after quite the chaotic Atlanta race last week, we ventured just a little bit northward to Rockingham, North Carolina for the seventh race of the season. And uh, like I said, that chaotic uh, 35 lead change race at the Atlanta Motor Speedway last week. This is uh, going to be quite hard to top, but first time we're venturing here to the Rockingham Speedway, so we have no bar to set it against. So this is going to be quite the first race here at the Rockingham Speedway. On the polls at number 66 of Charlie Davenport, Won the poll in qualifying an hour ago over on the NOS Rail channel. Five bonus points go to him in the championship. And uh, speaking of those points in those championships, take a look and see the points on the top right hand side of your screen. Dano Georgia in the number 34, who is starting uh, really deep in the field this afternoon, currently leads with 855 points. 25 points over John Andrews with 830. Madison Tall in third, who's a two-time winner this season. Aiden Macro, last week's winner in the 42, currently rounds out the top five. You know, not the top five, he's currently fourth. And then Braden Perez is the one who rounds out the top five in the number 92. Madison Tall is the only veteran driver in the top five in points. The other four are rookies. We are talking about this during the qualifying session, just how strong this rookie class is this season, especially with uh, guys like John Andrews, Cameron Garlington, and Daniel Bouchard. But some guys like Daniel George, Aiden Macro, Brayden Perez, Ryan Durrani making names of themselves early on in the series, and not to mention Nelson Reeves and the seven, who has been about the uh, most medium driver in the rookie standings, uh, I'd say, this season. Currently right smack dab in the middle in the rookie's points. So Reeves has been average, but the last couple of weeks, he has been right there in the thick of it to win and get a good points lead. He currently is just outside the top 10 in points in 11th. So watch out for Reeves, especially as we go to the big tracks this season, which he seems to be a master of early on in this series. Going to get the cars rolling off here in one quick moment. On the pole, on the number 66 Toyota Camry is Charlie Davenport. He starts alongside the 7 of Nelson Reeves and the Coca-Cola Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Rest of the starting lineup on the left-hand side of your screen. Row 2, Brendan Yodel starts alongside in the Unionville, New York's Eric Monaco. Row number 3, Jordan Lopez in a new-looking car this for this weekend. Starts along the other side of 32 of Caleb Rose. New livery on the 17 Pontiac machine for Logan Williams. He starts alongside the 28 of Cameron Garlington in row number 4. And then in row number 5, Josh Williams in the 98. Starts alongside the 16 of Noah Clifton. All 40 cars rolling off of pit lane. KFC race report on the bottom left hand side of your screen. Going to be a 79 lap race around the Rockingham Speedway. Pit window is in between laps 40 and 45. 
and this is the first time the Mission Barbecue Cup Series has ventured down to Rockingham, North Carolina. Pace car pulls on the pit road. Pull them belts tight one more time, boys. Davenport and Reeves through the gears they go. We're green flag racing at the rock, ladies and gentlemen. Davenport gets an additional five bonus points for leading the first lap of the race. All 40 cars made it around, but trouble for Daniel Bouchard in the 07. Something amiss on that O. Henry Pontiac. And we got cars in the wall. Tristan Allen pinballs a little bit. He saves it. So already drivers having issues in the back. Something amiss on the 07 machine, I think. Bouchard might have gotten turned around. And there's last week's winner, Aiden Macro, in the 42. Heavy damage to the left side of that Delta Chevrolet. All 40 cars remain straight on the racetrack for now. Back up to the lead. Three wide there for about the ninth position. Josh Williamson going to hit the wall. Garlington moves out of the way just in time. And Williamson is going to fall severely back in the 98. Back into yet another three wide situation and watch uh, Williamson to hit the wall again off the corner just grazes it this time. So really easy to overdrive the corners here at the Rockingham Speedway. Especially if you're on the high side but driver that's been on the low side since the start of the race your pull sitter uh, Charlie Davenport has led all four laps so far in the Hard Rock Cafe Rockingham 400. Caleb Rose has found his way in second. Uh, in third place is a 75 of Eric Monaco. So, I'm not sure why I sounded like a Canadian there for a second. So, uh, um, Toyota is running 1, 2, 3 at the moment right now. Another three wide situation in the back between Samson, Logan Alexander, and Bouchard. Bouchard almost got into the back of the 20, almost got into his quarter panel there. Tristan Allen still in the back. Uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, movement and uh, jostling around for position in the back. And Jordan Lopez has really, really fallen back in the 81. Started sixth in the race. See where he uh, comes around. Uh, he's fallen back to this time around. Currently 30th. That's uh, no 33rd in the 81, and still falling back. He's hit the wall a couple of times. Oh, into Bouchard and into Dano Georgi. Georgi turned around. And no caution. And that is our points leader going around on the back straightaway. We still remain green here. And Lopez got into the outside wall, got into Bouchard, and Bouchard turned around your points leader, who was severely off the pace. And that is a terrible, that is terrible luck for Dano Georgi. I, I can't believe, I'm not sure why they didn't throw the yellow there. Probably because they were all the way in the back of the pack, but we remain green here at Rockingham Speedway. Highest running rookie in the field so far, Noah Clifton in the 16. Highest international driver in the series, uh, in the, yeah, in the field so far, hailing from Australia. Somewhere in Australia. I got a couple of Australians in this series. Got him, Fitzy, I believe Nelson Reeves it hails from the land down under. How to double check on that, but nonetheless, highest running rookie in the field so far has had a really quiet beginning to his season. And a couple guys down pit lane. So the 07 of Bouchard. The season just continues to get worse. And then the 81 of Jordan Lopez, who started sixth in the race. Uh, he's going to fall all, all the way, uh, fall down at least a couple of laps in that 81, having to repair some damage. Both those guys hoping for some quick yellows. As uh, something went amiss on the 16 of Clifton, because he is really on the high side. So something, I don't think something is amiss. I think Clifton just uh, had to get out of the gas and got out of the groove there for a second. But that is uh, relinquished second place back to the 32 of Rose. 
75 of Monaco. And how about this? Uh, are we under caution? And we are under the caution flag, and it looks like Landon Smith Jr. might have gotten into someone, and uh, looks like he got into the 38 of Ryan Durrani, and Yodel might be involved as well. So both American Motorsports guys having issues on the start, and now we're seeing uh, the leaders come down the pit lane. Davenport led them to the caution flag. Did not realize we were under the yellow flag here at the moment, but... And I'm not sure why they're coming down this early on. Because they cannot make it to the end, so... I'm gonna cut it really close for sure. I'm gonna focus along with Charlie Davenport and see what these guys do. Davenport with the first starting position. I'm hearing uh, four tires, uh, four Hoosier tires, and full of octane race fuel for the 66. And it looks like uh, the majority of the field's going to do that. Yelda, who started fourth, is going to have a very slow, is going to be really deep in the field. And how about this? Caleb Rose. Actually, where is Caleb Rose? Caleb Rose, I thought he, well, he was still in the pit lane for a second, but Rose. Loses a couple of positions. And it's something amiss on the 66. Not sure what's going on with Davenport. I don't know what the deal with Davenport was, but a really good stop by Mitchell Collins and Daisy Johnson. Johnson with the EA Sports colors this weekend. A lot of cars with different liveries. I'm not sure if Bouchard stayed out, but Bouchard is a lap down, so he and Jordan Lopez are going to be on the inside starting on the inside on the restart at least but charlie davenport is your leader after the first set of pit stops here at in the hard rock cafe rockingham 400 let's see what happened to bring out the first caution of the afternoon here at the rockingham speedway so jordan lopez's day has gone from really bad to extremely worse you see him trying to transition back out onto the racetrack with these guys and it's going to misjudge where Brendan Yodel is. Yodel's actually going to move up. He just gets into Landon Smith Jr. Then Yodel gets tagged into Durrani. Zachary Davis, your Phoenix winner about a month ago, gets involved in this one as well. So five cars into the outside wall. Yellow flag is definitely triggered. And uh, I don't I don't know what to say to that except Jordan Lopez... Uh, Kind of lapaging the field there, unfortunately. And then it's going to take out a couple of guys that were in the back. And Durrani joins his American Motorsports teammate with uh, bad luck in the early stages of this one. That is going to help Daniel George a little bit with uh, cars being damaged. But going to take a couple of onboards here. Juan Rodriguez had a very interesting uh, view from his rear bump. We're going to take that replay first. Probably do one more on board, then get you back to the restart here in the Rockingham, uh, the, at the Rockingham Speedway. From the onboard cam of Jordan Lopez, Miss Judges uh, entering back onto the racetrack, and calamity unfortunately ensues. You see Durrani, Landon Smith Jr., Brendan Yodel, and a couple other guys involved in this one. Bad day gone worse for the number 81 team. On board with the number 88, Landon Smith Jr., who's Season can be uh, summed up in this crash pretty much. Not the way this 88 season has wanted to go, that is for sure. One final look in real time with Jordan Lopez just misjudging these guys coming back onto the racetrack. And, you know, Durrani, he hasn't had the best of luck. We've, uh, Landon Smith Jr., we've all, he's been uh, well documented on how terrible that 88's luck has been. Zachary Davis at least has a win in the bank, and then Brendan Yodel, who is looking to have a good run to potentially uh, get back in the points battle. It's going to have a lot of rear end damage to that 26 dodge, so tough break for a lot of these guys. Uh, Charlie Davenport um, led them back to the caution flag, led them off of the pit lane. Some positions were shuffled on the pit stops. Let's see what all these guys can do on the restart here after an early caution in the Hard Rock Cafe, Rockingham 400. We're back here at the Rockingham Spillway, wrapping up our first caution of the afternoon, and it looks like Logan Williams might have an, uh, appears to have an issue on that 17 Pontiac, so 
Logan Sport not doing too hot as well. Take a look and see. Nobody was knocked out from that simple incident. 38 cars are on the lead lap with Bouchard and Lopez. One lap down and two laps down, respectively. It is currently Davenport, Monaco, Mitchell Collins, Daisy Johnson, and Caleb Rose. Your top five through the gears that go once again. Now watch out for these lap cars and potentially uh, cause some chaos here, especially with the damage they've sustained. But Lopez is going to try and pass the 66 and uh, get one of his laps back. Apparently two laps down in the 81. But not a whole lot of damage and Davenport's going to get held up on the outside along with Monaco and that's going to pave the way for the 78 of Mitchell Collins to get to the race lead. Daisy Johnson trying to move to his outside, going to get stuck on the outside lane. Is probably going to fall back in the 53 with a lap car in front of her. It's going to transition back down in front of Caleb Rose. Mitchell Collins still searching for Chase Buck, the owner of Buck Racing. Still searching for Chase Buck's first win as an owner in the Mission Barbecue Cup Series. He has just come oh so close several different times as... Collins really had to get out of the gas through the corner and that gives the lead over to Daisy Johnson the other female the uh, one of two female drivers in this field the other of course being Madison Tall who has uh, been a lot more dominant than Daisy Johnson two wins under Tall's belt already in the season at Homestead and Vermont so Johnson is really establishing herself early on as a top contender Logan Williams is still out on the racetrack, but something is definitely a miss motor-wise on that 17. There is Madison Toll right there, currently running in the 15th position. Game glitched out there for a second. Hopefully that doesn't mean that NR is going to crash, because that would not be very cash money, and I would be very, very angry at this game. But uh, Daisy Johnson continues to lead in the 53. 32 of Caleb Rose is in second. And how about this? Keegan Thompson, who has been really hit or miss uh, this season with his finishes. Either has really good finishes or really poor finishes. Currently running third on the racetrack right now in the Viagra Appleseed Racing car. Owner driver for Appleseed Racing as Bouchard scrapes the outside wall off of two. Looked like he was going to try and get the position over Rose, but Rose holds second. Still a lot of movement in the back. Lopez is making it three wide. Lopez is going to just barely scrape the wall off of four, so not a whole lot of damage done, but Bouchard is really slow in the 07. Watch out for this. He's going to go wide through the corner. Scrapes it. Does not uh, ricochet back down, so that is a good sign. Back up in the front, it is still Johnson, Rose, Thompson, Eric, Monaco, and how about this? Colton Yo for Yo Racing, highest running Dodge in the field. Of course, uh, Brendan Yodel has his issues, and actually, Will Parrish is running back there in the 02, capping off the top 10. So, a really good day for Yo Racing so far. I know uh, Matt Tuck loves to see this uh, Team Velocisar 53 car uh, new sponsorship from EA Sports this weekend. And Johnson currently with the lead. Fastest lap goes to Zachary Davis, who had it last week, even though he finished really deep in the field. So, uh, timing wise, that one car has been really fast, but uh, has not been able to show it on the racetrack, unfortunately. He does have the win at Phoenix uh, about a month ago. But, uh,. Ever since then has been really once again, like a lot of these drivers has been really hit or miss when it comes to the races and unfortunately it's been a whole lot more missing than hitting for that one team. And Yo is uh, drawing a bead on this 14 of Thompson here so about a four car not I don't want to say four cars underneath a blanket but a four car breakaway for the race lead all underneath one second of one another then it goes back to your pull sitter of uh, Davenport in the 66 who is two seconds back from Johnson so this front pack really starting to pull away from these guys we're starting to see a single file throughout the majority of the field as we're really getting into a rhythm in this race and 
I know the second that I, those words have left my mouth, we're probably going to get a caution within the next couple of laps, so... I don't know, uh... Announcer's curse, uh, if you will. Uh, just don't hate me if your favorite driver goes flipping through the infield or something to that avail. You know what, Clifton? It's really falling back in the 16, currently 18th in that Hidden Valley Chevrolet, so... Had a decent run going for him, but, uh... I cannot say the same for that. Mitchell Collins has also fallen back a couple positions. Was second on the restart. No, I believe he was fourth on the restart. Has fallen back to seventh. Actually, no, has fallen back to uh, tenth. Excuse me. Now we see Ke uh, Keegan Thompson go to second over uh, Caleb Rose. Rose falls back to fourth. It's Colton Yo goes up to third and that's how math works ladies and gentlemen there is my TED talk for the afternoon there's my math lesson for the afternoon and Thompson getting a really good run on the 53 down the straightaway we've seen this all season long just how um, how much how big of a runs these guys these Chevrolets can get on the straightaways the speed that these Monte Carlos get on the straightaways on tracks like these is absolutely insane and Thompson's gonna power down to the inside of Johnson. Johnson's gonna be stuck in the middle groove and Keegan Thompson, the Riley Alberta native, to the point here in the Rockingham Speedway. Colton Yeo's gonna try and follow suit in the zero. Inverted colors for this zero team, or just uh, Yo racing in general. 0-2 of Will Parrish, who's currently running in the ninth position right now. Has got a rich energy on the car and the inverted colors for that. But Keegan Thompson, two second place finishes at Auto Club and Vermont. And then other than those races has been really, really terrible in the 14 this season. He, he kind of did get screwed at Atlanta with that, uh, late, with that caution during pit stops. But other than that, it's just really has not been hitting the marks in that 14 but he currently leads he's getting the points for leading laps here at the rockingham speedway doesn't have the fastest lap that still belongs to the one of zachary davis we are uh we're closing in on uh pit stops here within the next 20 or so laps i would gauge but I think everybody is just uh, comfortable running in a nice groove. Johnson's going to move to the outside of Caleb Rose. That's the battle for third right now. Rose is going to easily maneuver past Johnson. The thing is here at the Rockingham Speedway is that the middle, that the uh, low and the high grooves are the places to go, but the second you get in that middle groove is where you just lose all of your grip and momentum. So, and especially, and we're seeing uh, off the turns, the high groove. Well, you can get speed, you hit the wall off of uh, two and four, and uh, not really the place to be, so it's kind of denoting into just a single groove racetrack here at the Rockingham Speedway, but that's just classic short, short track racing for you, ladies and gentlemen. Eric Monaco who started this race third. Actually, no, that's Ethan Lewis in the 79, so Monaco is a lot more uh, back than we, that we expected in that camera shot. 23rd for the 75. They started third. It's not as bad as uh, Jordan Lopez trying to locate where Lopez is on the racetrack. Actually, there's Jordan Lopez currently 39th. The 17 of uh, Logan Williams, I believe, appears to have made a pit stop, so that's why he is a lap down. And it looked like Colton Yeo was going to get a run off the 14 there of Thompson on the back straightaway, but. These four cars are seemingly, uh, just really, seem to be really content on running single file. Of course, Daisy Johnson darts out of line there for a second and got a little loose on entry there through three and four. And how about this? Rounding out the top five, Nathan Stapleton lost in a last lap pass by Aiden Macro last week at Atlanta. But I believe that 97 team is finally starting to click six or seven races into this season the first five races were absolutely atrocious for this team so i think uh he won indianapolis last year we know what he's good on the flat two mile tracks and he wasn't good at auto club kind of got a uh, screwed with a no yellow situation at auto club and then but we are going to michigan we are returning to the indianapolis motor speedway 
So I think Stapleton will be happy about that as Caleb Rose trying to utilize the top lane to get around the zero. Or the middle lane, I should say. I don't know why he was trying to do that, but he is uh, not only going to lose out on potentially getting second, but he's going to lose third away from Daisy Johnson. And the more these guys battle, the more Stapleton's just going to uh, scarcely edge his way into the conversation as uh, this time by will be the halfway point in the Hard Rock Cafe, Rockingham 400. Just a single yellow in this race so far. Keegan Thompson has uh, dominated the uh, second quarter of this race. As he rounds turn four. You guys, you boys better uh, start spamming those dab emojis right now. Halfway home through the Rock Hard Rock Cafe, Rockingham 400 here on lap 40. Pit stop should be in the next 10 laps or so, and these guys are catching up to Landon Smith Jr. in the 88, who's got some side damage. Let's have to see what happens with him. Gonna do a little bit of a full field rundown as I believe we have reached a little bit of a lull in the race. So Keegan Thompson is first, zero of Colton Yeo is second, 53 days of Johnson third, fourth is Caleb Rose. Fifth is uh, St uh, Nathan Stapleton. Sixth, the highest running rookie in the field so far is Cameron Garlington. Seventh is Derek Hamill. Eighth is Mitchell Collins. Ninth is Trey Smith. And rounding out the top 10 is Zachary Fitzwater. Eleventh is your pulse sitter of Charlie Davenport. Twelfth is Ryan, uh, not Ryan Benjamin. Uh, Tyler Reynolds. Thirteenth is Will Parrish. Fourteenth is Daisy, uh, not Daisy Johnson, Madison Tall. Fifteenth is Noah Clifton. 16th is Tristan Allen. Saw him pinballing there on the opening laps on the back straightaway. Able to rebound inside the top 20. 17, uh, 17th is the one of Zachary Davis. 18th is Juan Rodriguez. 19th is Ethan Lewis. And 20th is your points leader of Dano Georgi. 21st is Josh Williamson. 22nd is Bren Brennan Wilmington. 23rd is Nathan Smith. 24th is Nelson Reeves, your outside pole sitter. 25th is uh, Dustin Davis, 26th is Eric Monaco, 27th is K uh, Cole Sampson, I should say, 28th is Ryan Benjamin, 29th is Riley Sampson, and 30th is last week's winner, Aiden Macro. 31st uh, last time by was Braden Perez, and I was going to fall back to 32nd, now in 31st is the 46th of John Andrews, second in points. 33rd was Logan Alexander, but he lost that position. 34th is Owen Miles in the Pertec machine. And 35th uh, is now Logan Alexander. There's Brendan Yodel in the 26th, Logan Alexander. And a couple of guys who were involved in incidences. Uh, 07 of Daniel Bouchard, currently last, two laps down. 38 of Ryan Durrani, currently 36th. One lap down is a 17 of. Logan Williams and uh, there's Landon Smith Jr. currently the last car on the lead lap in 37th and Say this every single race. It's not an NOFL sanctioned race without us missing a pass for the lead Colton Yo leading his first laps of the day got around Keegan Thompson And I knew this was gonna happen, but you know what? We're not gonna we're uh, not gonna miss anything here ladies and gentlemen, especially if this battle for the lead heats up and Thompson is going to let the zero car clean the racetrack a little bit for him. Johnson goes really wide through the corner. They are closing in on pit stops within the next five or ten laps or so here in what has been a fairly calm Hard Rock Cafe at Rockingham 400 at the Rockingham Speedway. Stapleton is just running qualifying laps at this point, I believe. He is, uh, he is etching his way a little bit into this lead pack. He's a little ways away behind uh, Caleb Rose. But still three seconds back from the zero of Colton Yeo. And now we're starting to see the battle for second heat up between Johnson and Thompson. A little bit of a rhyming game there, ladies and gentlemen. Thompson in the 14 is going to take the uh, inside lane away from the 53 of Johnson. Now Stapleton is starting to be in the frame there for a little, uh, little bit. And lap, lap traffic Landon Smith Jr. in the 88. It's going to be the first car in line to be lapped 
by the zero of Colton Yeo, barring we do not get a caution, but most of the field is running single file. Occasionally we've got double file, but I think these drivers are just trying to get to green flag pit stops, and I don't, I mean, we saw with the, we saw with the first accident of the day how, uh, how it's possible for drivers to lepage the field coming off of pit lane, and we saw last week at Atlanta, and then when we saw at Phoenix, uh, just the unpredictability that these uh, that cautions can be at uh, these excuse me that these green flags pit stops can have. And I thought we were under caution there for a second, but because Colin Yeo was going really, really slow through the corner, Thompson trying to get on the outside of Yeo, but not able to get there. Fastest lap of the race is 24 seconds, and these guys have fallen off two and a half seconds from that, so tires are really starting to wear, especially this late in the going, and looks like Jordan Lopez is down the pit lane. Not sure if there's an issue on the 81 or coming down for his pit stops. I didn't see them changing tires, so it leads me to believe, and actually, uh, 07 of Daniel Bouchard down the pit lane as well. And now actually here's a uh, now the cycle is beginning to start. Johnson comes down the pit lane. So Daisy Johnson is going to be the first car to come down. Going to make sure that everybody gets out. There's Brendan Yodel making his stop. I don't see Lopez on the racetrack currently, so I'm not sure if he retired in the 81, if there was something. No, there's Lopez in the 81 who has completed his service. So Johnson comes down. I imagine that all these guys are going to get four fresh Hoosier tires. There is Colton Yo. That relinquishes the lead to Caleb Rose and Nathan Stapleton. I'm going to follow along with Caleb, uh, Colton Yo, I should say, in that zero car. I believe he's just going to get four fresh Hoosier tires and fill that tank full of Octane race fuel. Because the lap times have fallen off significantly in this one. Now the rest of the field comes down. We are still green flag. We're still under the green flag, I should say. Here's Caleb Rose, the current leader. And it looks like Davenport is going to try and stretch it a little bit. Hope to uh, possibly catch a quick yellow. That's going to be another lap led for Davenport as Tall comes out ahead of Caleb Rose. Make sure none of these guys make contact coming off the pit lane. Be careful for these guys merging back out onto the racetrack. We stay green for now. Yo is actually going to beat out Daisy Johnson. But Johnson's going to have some momentum. It's Wilmington, Georgia, your points leader, and Davenport finally come down the pit lane. So I believe that should wrap up the cycle. I think Colton Yeo should uh, cycle out to be your leader here, and I believe he is. Gonna try and get around the 88 of Landon Smith Jr. We'll see what timing and scoring says as they come around. As Rose is back out on the racetrack, Thompson back out on the racetrack. I believe Colton Yo. Noah still says Davenport is the leader, but Davenport's still on the pit lane. Actually, Brennan Wilmington is uh, being scored in second right now, I believe. No, Wilmington's down the pit lane, so I think this is going to relinquish the lead over to Colton Yo, who has uh, got a fairly sizable lead over Daisy Johnson. Of course, he's got the lap car of Landon Smith Jr. between that zero and the 53. And Colton Yo is your leader at the line. I think Davenport. Not sure where Davenport is. Yeah, Davenport is a uh, fall a uh, long ways back, back down to 15th. So Davenport, the strategy unfortunately did not work for that 66 team. But back to the race lead. Colton Yo and Thompson and Johnson have both gotten around the 88 of Landon Smith Jr. Thompson wants second away from Johnson, posts her up to the outside. And let's see if that 14 can hunt down the zero of Colton Yo. We've got 23 laps remaining here at the Rockingham Spillway. Still time for a caution flag to come out. Just don't know what's going to happen here at the Rockingham Speedway, but I think this is the first instance of green flag pit stops during this season where there was not a yellow flag and Thompson is coming. 
We'll see what the interval is next time by, but it looks like he has bitten off a sizable chunk of the lead out of Colton Yo. See what the interval is at the line. Uh, I think Yo actually beat him off. Thompson closed in six one hundredths of a second, but Yo is coming upon lap traffic and that's going to really come into play, especially with uh, Jordan Lopez giving how problematic he's been. Still two laps down in the 81. Nobody is out of the race so far, I believe. Bouchard is still on the racetrack, but he is three laps down, so Bouchard is pretty much out of it. Yo is starting to steadily creep up on lap traffic. First driver on the chopping block to be lapped is a 38 of Ryan Durrani. The whole passenger side door is gone from that 38. And he's going to hold up Colton Yo just a little bit here on the front straightaway. But Yo is going to move down to the inside. Going to get held up a little bit here. Thompson's going to try and close. Yo moves down to the inside with less than 20 to go from Rockingham. He's gotten around Durrani. Now let's see if he can get around Lopez. In between a couple of lap cars, going to move down to the inside of Lopez. Thompson at the line. It's about five or six car lengths away from Durrani. And now, Colton Yo fans can breathe, breathe a little bit of a sigh of relief. Now he's got two lap cars in between himself and Thompson. Johnson has fallen back a couple, uh, yeah, fallen back two seconds away from the 14. Thompson's going to get around the 81 with ease. Let's see if he can do it as easily with Durrani. Durrani is going to be on the low side. Transition's high. Thompson moves down the racetrack to pass Durrani. He's got the lead down to less than a second over Yo. Yo still has some lap traffic to meticulate around. He's got the 15 of Ryan Benjamin, the 17 of Logan Williams to deal with. Thompson's close the lead once again. I think it's once again going to come down between Keegan Thompson and some other driver. This is the third time this season Thompson has been in position to win the race. In fact, it seems that every other every other race this season, excluding Daytona, Thompson has been in the catbird seat to potentially win. Yo gained a couple hundredths of a second over Thompson that last lap by, but at 14, the straightaway speed that those Chevrolets have got is just insane. And I'm not sure if the Dodge is of uh, Colton Yo is going to be able to hold on. But if he does, that is going to be a huge victory for Yo Racing. But Thompson is coming in the 14. And we can't rule out the possibility of lap traffic here with just under 15 laps to go here in the Hard Rock Cafe. Rockingham 400. Thompson's got it down to almost half a second now under Colton Yo. I think Johnson's going to be a... Johnson's pretty much out of the picture at this point, but still a respectable podium finish for Team Velocistar. It's going to come down. If we don't have a yellow, which I don't believe we are going to, given that the majority of the field is single file. I think it's going to come down to between Keegan Thompson and Colton Yo. Thompson has now got the lead under half a second. 41 hundredths of a second separate the 14 of Thompson and the 0 of Colton Yo. Thompson looking to break the tie he has with Madison Tall and Landon Smith Jr. for most all-time wins in the Mission Barbecue Cup Series looking for his fifth career win and he is going to get a huge toe down the front straightaway off the rear bumper of Colton Yo in the zero. 11 laps to go this time by, 10 to go next time by. See the fastest lap. Now the fastest lap belongs to Nelson Reeves in the seven. He's currently running 25th so those are well needed points for that seven team. Thompson just reeling in on the zero. This time by 10 laps to go from the Rockingham Speedway in the seventh race of the 2021 season. 
10 laps to go for Colton Yo for his first win. Actually, his second win. Looking for his second win in the Mission Barbecue Cup Series. I forgot that he won at Dover last season. Colton Yo looking for his second win in the series. Keegan Thompson looking for his career, his uh, series best fifth. And Daisy Johnson, who's currently three and a half seconds behind, just looking for a decent finish in that 53. Third place is pretty respectable, I would say so myself, but it's not a win. And here we go. Battle for the race lead with nine laps to go, this time by Thompson on the inside. Powers past Colton Yo. Not going to have him quite cleared. Now he does. Keegan Thompson in the 14 to the race lead here at the Rockingham Speedway with nine laps to go in the Hard Rock Cafe, Rockingham 400. Colton Yo falls back to second. Let's see what Yo can do, but he is slowly, actually no, he is quickly losing pace with a 14 with eight to go in this one. Uh, yeah, he lost three tenths of a second there the last time by. So Colton Yo, I think, might be finishing second here. If we don't get a caution with the next couple of laps, because if we get a caution with less than three to go, that's the race. But Keegan Thompson looking to be in this battle. He uh, has been a bridesmaid several different times within this series. He lost the lead on a last lap pass at Auto Club to Eric Monaco. Monaco ended up winning the race. He lost the he uh no excuse me um Keegan Thompson finished second in that race. Lost the lead on a last lap pass at Vermont to Madison Tall. Tall won the race, and Keegan Thompson ended up finishing second. But that's zero cars coming here with five. Count them five laps to go from the heart from the Rockingham Speedway. I'm, I don't think lap traffic is going to be a factor in this one. Johnson is 3.66 seconds back. This is going to be a fight between Thompson and the zero of Yo here in the final four laps. Yo is going to gain a little bit on Thompson here. We'll see what the intervals say. Oh, he did not. He actually lost his lead. He lost the ground he made up here with four laps to go from the Rockingham Speedway. Now I believe if a caution comes out, that will do it. So Thompson is praying for a caution. How about this battle for third between Caleb Rose and Daisy Johnson? Couple of Toyotas going at it. Rose looking for a podium finish. But three laps to go for Keegan Thompson. They uh, say third time's a charm. And this is the third time this season that he has been in a position to win a race here in the late stages. Rose and Johnson still fighting for third with two laps to go for Keegan Thompson, owner driver for Appleseed Racing. How about this? Uh, wouldn't this be funny if the uh, Viagra car wins at the Rockingham Speedway at the Rock? I think uh, if you know what Viagra does, you can use your imagination on that, ladies and gentlemen. But rounding turns three and four for the second to final time. Keegan Thompson, white flag in the air. One more time around for the Riley Alberta native. And Josh Williamson really slow on the racetrack. I don't know what the deal is with uh, Williamson. Oh, this could pay dividends. Here comes Yo! Yo's gonna be right on the bumper of Thompson! Oh, he's not gonna get an engine time! Off the final turn! Riley Alberta's Keegan Thompson! Yo's not gonna get there! Thompson wins at Rockingham! Oh boy! <laughs> That was a nail biter to the end. Josh Williamson, not sure what happened on the 98 machine. But that was close to Keegan Thompson. <laughs> Making it exciting for the fans, ladies and gentlemen. Colton Yo, oh so close. Had the opportunity there at the end, but comes up just a tenth short. And then Caleb Rose 
Got around Daisy Johnson for third. How about that for the guy who's almost in last place? Daisy Johnson is still a respectable fourth place finish. And then Zachary Fitzwater. Where did he come from? Fitzwater gets a fifth in the number nine. Stapleton gets a respectable sixth. And then uh, seventh highest running rookie in the field is the number 28 of Cameron Garlington. Trey Smith, eighth. Uh, trying to see who's ninth. Madison Tall, ninth. So I think uh, Tall is probably going to take the points. Lead away from Dano, George I, and John Andrews after this one. And Nathan Smith rounds out the top 10. Take a look and see the rest of your results. All 40 cars finished this race. 34 were on the lead lap. Williamson, Durrani, Landis with Jr., Logan Williams, Jordan Lopez, and Daniel Bouchard all finishing off of the lead lap. I was expecting this race to be a little bit more chaotic, but <laughs> that battle at the end between Keegan Thompson and Colton Yeo, and that finish, that was, I was nail-biting to say the least, but Keegan Thompson finally breaks a three-way tie between himself, Madison Tall, and Landon Smith Jr. for most wins in the series, Career, career win number five for the driver of the number 14 Viagra Chevrolet Monte Carlo. And we said this uh, we said this before the season started that the Chevrolets and the Toyotas were going to be dominant. Then know how dominant that these uh, Chevrolets were actually going to be. They have got. Uh, let's see. Ford won the Daytona 500. Then. Yeah, Dodge is the uh, only manufacturer that does not have a win. They, I believe Chevrolet has won five of the first seven races. They've won two with Madison Tall, two with, yeah, yeah, two with uh, Full Frontal, and now one with Keegan Thompson for Appleseed Racing. So five of the first seven races going to the bow ties. So Chevrolet really, really turning up the heat early on in the season. Of course, they do have the uh, majority of the manufacturer, so... That has something to do with that as well. But Keegan Thompson going to victory lane here in the Hard Rock Cafe. Rockingham 400. And uh, that is going to do it for the next uh, two weeks here on NASCAR Nerd 34. Because uh, next week is off. Happy Easter for uh, all of you guys uh, on next week. And then uh, the week after that on uh, April 10th. Go to the Northwest, uh, Pacific Northwest in uh, outside of Seattle, Washington at the one and only Armor Digital Super Speedway for the NEX 500, our second Super Speedway race of the season. That will be on April 10th at uh, 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time over uh, here on NASCAR Nerd 34. Then we got uh, quite the uh, abundance of quite the uh, Couple, next couple of uh, races on the docket. We got Richmond on April 17th. We got a Talladega on April 24th. That's going to be fun. Kansas on May 1st. First time we're venturing uh, to the Midwest at the Kansas Speedway. Also, first time we're going to the Richmond Raceway here over on uh, March 17th. And we got Dover, the Ricky Raceway, Charlotte Motor Speedway, Chicagoland, Diamond Ridge, Pocono. Diamond Ridge, first time we're going to that track in the Mission Barkey Cup Series. Pocono, Bridgehampton on July 4th weekend. Then we got the All-Star Race uh, at uh, Flemington and then Trenton. And then that leads into the um, New England Week of Speed over in late July. And then we got Watkins Glen, Indy, Michigan, North Wilkesboro. And that is the chase cutoff. Uh, is uh, definitely going to shake things up here in the next couple of weeks. But that's going to do it here for the Rockingham Sweat. Actually, not the next couple of weeks, the next couple of months, because I mentioned uh, the schedule all the way to the late summer months in August. But that's going to do it here from the Rockingham Sweat. we here on March 27th is when this is going up. And uh, congratulations to Co Keegan Thompson once again on winning this race. And uh, like I said, that's going to do it here from the Rockingham Speedway. Congratu congratulations to Keegan Thompson on winning the Hard Rock Cafe Rockingham 400. And uh, we will see you guys next week. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, ladies and gentlemen. Here are the points after seven races of the 2021 season. And from the Rockingham Speedway, this has been NASCAR Nerd 34 signing off.